like Vivian told me. Like, like Vivian mentioned uh, in our last uh, recap about our stories, is that if you speak from the heart, there's so many hearts out there that are waiting for you to speak. So I can share that with all of you. And uh, I'm really excited of what I am becoming. Uh, coming from the corporate world, then uh, learning about the journey, about this industry that I love. Um, I have to be more patient with myself because like Haley said, we got to do it a hundred times. And I don't think that uh, I knew because I didn't have the skills. I'm here today and I'm grateful to all of you and to Seth Mulder for guiding me to the past that there is greatness out there waiting for me, but I'm discovering it right now. So I'll end up with that. Oh, that is so beautiful. Thank you, Florence. Let's see, can we? Aloha, everyone. Oh, are we frozen? <clears throat> are we frozen? No. Uh -oh. Okay. Hey, frozen? everybody. Hey, hello, Seth, hello. We hear you. Okay. We're calling all the way from Hawaii. So um, Seth asked us to jump on today and share some of our ahas. We're with Daisy's team and and uh, just grateful to be with you all today and, and yesterday. Oh, I'm Susan yeah. Alder, by the way. And I'm Jamie. Hey, first, I, I, Florence, I just loved your story. And I, and I, I just want to say how grateful we are to be a part of this organization, to be a part of all of these wonderful people. So we're just, we're thrilled. And we have Deb in our head. And we've had Deb, Deb in our head for over a year. And we just love her. And we love Seth. And we love all of you guys. And I just want to share something really quick of what I, what I captured this morning. And then Susan will share something this afternoon, and uh, and then really just love to hear everyone else's, you know, what what you guys got out of today. But if you didn't cry today, then something, you know, message should have hit you today, right? It hit me. It made my eyes water when we were going down the the, the trails left, right, and all that. So I got Susan grabbing my leg underneath the video. So I'm to speed up, Jamie. You're talking too much. So let me get to it. My insight today was really the, the Haley Hobson talk that we were just talking about, uh, that Florence was just talking about. I mean, when she talked about everything breaks, I guess what it feels like for me, like everything breaks, being former military, nothing went as planned, everything broken. We always had to adjust. And so that really resonated with me. And it's why I don't go into social media because I'm not comfortable with things breaking. I'm not comfortable with being my best. I'm not comfortable putting my best foot forward. I'm not comfortable doing something that is uncomfortable for me and being on social media. My heart is beating so fast right now. Being on this call and talking to all of you that I do, I only know a few of you. Um, I hope to get to know all of you in the next year, years as we go through this journey together. But I don't want to look awkward. I don't want to look like a failure. I don't want to look like I don't have my stuff in one sock, right? And so that's why I don't go on social media because it's scary to me. And what I learned was it's okay to be awkward because it's okay to fail because then I'm able to make the adjustments if I keep my ears open and I hear the feedback and I adjust and I make the adjustments and then I'll get to that perfect, but it'll only be perfect until it's not perfect anymore. And so then I have to adjust again. And so that was a really big is, uh -huh for me this morning was that it's okay to be awkward as long as you enjoy the process and you enjoy the challenge and listen and have that dialogue and those discussions and you, you um, have that growth mindset is, is really the powerful piece. And how I plan on applying it, just do it. You're gonna see me on social media. Sorry, honey. 
I'm going to be awkward. I'm going to be me. And I'm going to tell you everything that I love and everything that, um, that I love about everybody that gets engaged and talks and, and um, I'm going to be quirky. I'm just going to be, I'm not going to be the military Jamie. I'm going to be the fun Jamie. I'm going to be the, the spontaneous, awkward guy you know, from Atlanta, Georgia that lives out in Hawaii and uh, just be me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start getting on social media. How is it going to, what's the result is it going to make? I like to look at my results as my actions. It's going to make me happy. It's going to make me be me. Um, it's for the, the numbers, the growth, the, the customers, the distributors, the team. I think those will all come when I look, my results is what I'm doing because those are things that I can control. And I think I will wake up happier. I will be a brighter light. I think I will bring my best self to the forefront. And those are the results I'm looking for. So that, that was the big aha I got from this morning. Sorry, I think I took a little bit more time than allocated, but that's just me being awkward, but I'll just pass it over to Susan. Talk yes. Okay. So my afternoon ahas were, <clears throat> you know, every, talk, listen to everybody's story. I don't know if anybody, like, could you hear a little bit of your story and everybody's story? Like there was pieces of everyone's story that I could resonate with. And it was interesting because it can kind of like take you back to those places that like maybe you've overcome and, and you re revisit them for a second can feel a little triggering. And so, um, the two things, one of the things that just really came out in my head was, um, you know, this conditioning that I grew up with is you have to work hard to be worthy. You have to work hard, follow the rules, meet expectations to be worthy. And what my higher self tells me, you know, God, you know, however you, you hear that voice within when you get quiet and still is that I am worthy just because I'm here. I am worthy because I showed up. We are all worthy because we like showed up and, and are taking this course, right? Because not everyone shows up on the playing field and does this work. And so that's it. You're worthy because you're here and you, you show up. So, um, and then the crystal ball activity I felt was really powerful because I was really in this space. I was like trying to write out my story. Right. And I was like, you know, I, I'm still like kind of working through that. And it just kind of felt kind of funky. So when I went to, into that crystal bowl activity, it was sort of, I went down that dark place. I was like, I don't really be here, you know? And then, but immediately when she said, leave it, it was like, I sucked myself right out of that and, and just had the realization that the remembrance that that is how it, the memory is just the memory. The trigger is just the trigger. The story is just the story. You can drop the story and pivot that quickly because you actually create your future by feeling it. I mean, we can write it down all day, we can plan it out, we can analyze how we're going to do it, but you really create your future by feeling it. And so like in that meditation, it was like, boom, I saw like us standing on the stage at Pro 7, right? I don't know how we're going to get there. We're just going to keep showing up and doing what we're doing and get better and like being willing to fail and just showing up and doing it. So those were, and if we just keep doing that and keep doing that and modeling it for our team, and giving people the space to, to share their story, but then to pivot for it. So we're not holding space for the old story. We're holding space for people's new story and encouraging that. So, and I think if we do that, the way it'll impact our business is we will hit pro seven. That's what we're aiming for. We're going from pro five, cruising through pro six to pro seven. So um, that's just our little nuggets, but who's next? Wanna hear who's next? <laughs> raise your hands I'll and, go. Oh. or just go i'll go next thank you so much for that inspiration i mean wow so my insight is if i show up as me i will attract the right people haley says that really who i'm looking for are people like me the people that see this like i do that feel the way that i do and i am in search of those with a burning desire that is what creates momentum. I'm not looking for any, any more bench warmers. And uh, how will I apply it? Just uh, to feed off of what you're saying, I am really uncomfortable with social media. 
I feel like my voice is like, I don't like my voice so much, you know, because I'm not relaxed, but if I relax and have fun and, and, uh, bring the ease, grace, and flow, then everyone will be able to feel the love in my voice. It, the, it'll shift, I feel like. And then if I bring consistency to social media, that's where I will do the attracting of those people that are like me. And so I just need to be me. And um, I need to stop being afraid of social media I know that I get on there, but I also don't like people to know where I live. I'm off grid and I don't like showing, you know, like when I'm on Zoom or whatever with our Life Vantage family, I'm comfortable because I feel like there's no one judging me. And not that I'm afraid of people judging me. I'm just not a real personal person. So what I feel like I need to do is some more of what Richard is doing is like take myself to somewhere else, be on my hikes or show part of my life. <clears throat> That's not right here directly, even though I love showing my garden and all of that, but that's such a weird thing. And I kind of just want to, that's what my hold up is with social media. And I just feel like the impact that this will have on my life and business is I'll have more fun. I'll be able to be me and um, it will create the life that I was born to live. So thanks for letting me share. Thanks, Beverly. Beverly, thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, I can re resonate with a lot of that, what you just shared. That was great. Richard, I saw your hand up. Richard, do you want to share with the group what your big aha was from, uh, from today, either this morning or afternoon? I think it was mainly that um, just be real. I mean, to, uh, to kind of echo what Beverly was saying, um, you just have to be yourself. I've learned so much from sharing my story about uh, my years of depression and what I've done to overcome that. And then um, just being vulnerable and being real. And, and I've discovered that people really appreciate that when you even when you screw up you know they 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 see that you're real they see that you, it's you and they and they can relate to that and so the aha that i've had is that hey i just need to keep on doing what i'm doing and sharing my story and sharing my experiences because the more i do it the more i realize hey there's a lot of people out there that can really relate to it and uh i've learn a lot about that. The other thing is the crystal ball exercise we're talking about. Um, I've been doing that for over a year along with all the other neuro tools. And I have learned so much from that. And just saying, hey, I don't accept that. I don't accept the past. I'm ready to move forward. Those are my ahas. I love that. You're inspiring me, Richard. I'm going to, I'm, I'm all in with the Crystal ball neuro tool now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to try that tonight. Who else? Who else is let's hear your big ahas, how you apply it and how it's gonna impact your business. Who else? Barbara. Oh. I saw Barbara's hand jumped up. There we go. Okay. Bar let's go. Barbara, yeah. Sue, and then Polly Grace. Hi, Polly Grace. Grace. You know what? There were so many things I have to go back to my notes because by the time I get to the end, I forget all the odds from before, but just so many and um, just the breakthroughs from each person. But, you know, Haley Hobbs and I've seen Clubhouse and, you know, heard her name and all these different things, but really honing in on your um you know, CA, your, you know, who is your avatar? And that's probably you maybe a couple of years ago. And so I wanted to say, Jamie, that makes my vision now sharing on social media a lot clearer to me because I have another part of my wellness business, which is the emotional. And I've been trying to tie those things together in my representation, but I thought all of it does tie together. This work is, 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 is right in there. So picturing where I was or what, what brought me into this, now I can figure out clarity in my messaging. That's really been something that's um, 
been uh, a challenge for me. I tend to be all over the place. And she really made it clear. And I totally trust her judgment, you know, and those questions, what was your life like? What were you into? What were you struggling with? And also when you bringing other business partners on to really get to know those things. Um, and so I can speak to my former self to find people that want to move on to bigger and greater things. I hope that was helpful. Yeah. Oh, really? was great. Thanks. And uh, was it Sue? Sue? Oh, yes. Sue but and I then wanna, Holly Grace? I want to ask a question. So who, the avatar, your ideal client avatar, your ICA, as she was saying, how many people, like, it was you, like, or at least your version of your ideal self? Did anybody, how many of it was you? Or you're like, you're, you want to attract you, the best version of you. Yeah, that's what I really felt like. And it makes you step up and rise up to that, that new blueprint or that, that current blueprint that you're really working on. That yeah, so let me know, ask a quick question. How I was many gonna, can I ask one, say, <clears throat> say one thing, just clarify what I was saying too. Like then before I was speaking to the me now, but what she talked about was to the me from two to five years ago that we can bring to the person being now. I just wanted to make that distinction. Yes, it's, absolutely. Yeah, exactly talk about. Yep. It, it's that, that ideal you, that ideal client or avatar, however you want to say it. Yes. Thank you. All right, Sue. So the energy that I have for the, for our company and for our products has turned into unsolicited advice sometimes. And so when she said unsolicited advice is only accepted 1% of the time, it made, it was like this big, huge, oh my gosh. So my excitement, they're happy for me. Maybe I need to tone down my excitement just a tad and giving more love and listening more um, so that that will lead to conversation and my confidence instead of just my excitement in our, our journey together. Um, and another thing that wasn't from today, but kept popping into my mind from Phil was that I love good customer service. I mean, that's the thing that strikes me when I speak to people. So that's also what I want to give. So I want to give unsolicited customer service to everyone. And that's how I packaged it for myself to be um, giving that love and listening. So what do they want? What do they need? And that my energy and my excitement can be the fuel for that. So that I know that was just one tiny sentence that she said, but it just was like, boom, it hit me hard. So I thought I'd share that. And how do you, how do, how's that going to impact your business? Go ahead and like declare it, voice it. Okay. Um, I declare, <laughs> I am going to be, or I am a person who listens, a person who is excited, a person who accepts people where they are. Um, and that is going to change my business because people will be comfortable instead of feeling pushed or, or um, lectured to. Absolutely. People will be comfortable for the conversation. Yes, they'll be open mm -hmm. and, they'll, and you're going to retain those customers because they feel loved and supported, right? I can relate Heard, to loved and supported. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Polly Grace. Hi, all. Love Susan, Jamie, for you to be here. Great, thank you. So there's a lot of things happening. I mean, like Jamie said, if you didn't cry, I mean, this morning I just, I thought, I don't care who sees me, just let it, let it go. So because um, one of the things, what they said, the bigger the building, the deeper the foundation needs to be. So what happened when I started crying, because I, I'm a coach, I did a lot of self-development trainings and whatever. So I, I actually sent Jennifer a, a text like bawling saying, oh boy, I thought I did all the work already, but it was going deeper and deeper and deeper. 
it is so amazing. I just came up with, I don't belong. I am too much. I ask too much. I'm being judged, all those things. So for me, it is, I am so grateful that it came up because all you guys before you were doing the I can Institute. And I was like, you know, I did so much already and you know, I don't have to do this. And I have like this shaman in my team and you know, we can talk and I'm doing this now. And I'm like, yeah, this is my time to do it. And so the impact on my business is that um, I limit myself. I limit myself with all these ideas um, and, and what is going to change and what is really going to be uh, working my business is like deep down, going deep down, building it very high, but going to the foundation needs to be rock solid. So that's for me. Yeah, I need to go drill deep, no, drill deep and let to beautiful oil come out <laughs> so that's me you got to get those roots rib the deeper you get the roots the higher you can grow right the deeper you get the roots the higher you can grow lillian shelly kim lillian will you share with us what your big ahas were and then shelly and then kim yes thank you polly grace what i wanted to ask those of you that are not muted sandy and terry to mute your phones because this is being recorded Thank you. Um, oh boy. <laughs> so my big aha was. You need some help? Sandy, <laughs> can you mute your phone? So sorry. You got it. Gotcha. Sunshine. Your I got you. You muted. It. Thank you. So um, my biggest aha, and I had heard this before, but for some reason today, it kind of like hit me, is when recruiting, I'm selling myself and I'm selling my team. It's come join me, come join my team. And one of, like Polly Grace was saying in this digging deeper, digging deeper, you know, I, I felt for many years, like I'm stuck, like right in the middle. And I, I really don't know how to snap out and, or, or I do know, but until we deal with the, <laughs> the internal chatter, right, it's not going to happen. So that's what we're here for. And I think one of the things that has hampered my ability to recruit is that I've been in the company, it's going to be nine years in July and Everybody in my upline or that team that I got started is in exactly the same rank. So nobody has been able to advance. And I think that has been like this little thing in my head where I believe like almost like I'm faking it. Like, yeah, you know, this can be a great way to, you know, have an additional business, have a growing business, have you know, what, what we all know that we can get out of this, but I did not feel like down deep in my heart that that was true because of what was going around me. So when they said, it does not matter what's going on around you, it's what's going on inside of you. So I realized that I have to deal with that, right? And I've kind of like, now that I've joined Team CEO, I, 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 and it's again, it's this going back to like, wow, like I wish I'd known this. Like I wish I, I wish I had this when I got started, right? We, we keep going like, I wish I had this, then I'd be here. As opposed to, uh, there was another comment that they said is like, this lady that was talking about her mother, right? And just saying like, I am so grateful that I now know what not to do so that now the team that's coming on I can show them a better way. And I feel so strongly now that with these systems that Seth has in place between the app and the ITT and he, how he tailors everything to what we do 
and having those systems so clearly i'm 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 a teacher so so i'm like like lesson one lesson two you know that's i i kind of i'm very disorganized if you look at my desk you would probably you know have a conniption but but i am uh, i like that structure of you know lesson one lesson two we do this we do that we do that and so i love what we have now so i this was huge for me to say okay and that's what she's asking us to do right like this was then and now i'm taking this leap to moving forward without carrying that baggage or blaming that baggage or you know this that happened but be grateful and um the gratefulness I, the other thing and, and it's combined what happened yesterday and this morning is i feel like i'm showing up i'm I'm, I'm being there for my team. I'm doing the presentation. I mean, I'm doing everything that we know we have to do, but I feel, I feel like I've become like a little robot. Like I do this every day. I have to do, I have to do. And I love what I do, but I think I'm lacking that energy that, so I, so on talking about how I will apply it, so number one, I love what Kathy Coover said, because I, I think this would really help me. I, I'm shy about presenting the business opportunity. I, I mean, the products, I love them. And I had so many amazing results. Like I, I, I'm very confident in that. That's, that was another aha for me. Like in my regular job, I'm a, I'm a dog trainer. Like if you ask me something about a dog or training, like in a nanosecond, like in my sleep, I could help you. I could come up with the answer. I could come up with the solution like I, like that. And I'm very assertive and I have a big presence about it. And I feel like I almost have to like get into my dog trainer's shoes and then like shift quickly, like bring it over to like vintage, like before my brain can go, oh, no, 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 no. You know, you're good with the dogs, but- Hey, Lillian, <laughs> Lillian, I'm gonna stop you for a second. Where's the stop sign? I need the dead stop sign. <laughs> Stop, stop, no, it's stop. all great. It's, it's all, all great. great. Running out of time. No, well, we are running out of time because we said we'd keep this to 30 minutes. But what I hear it is, awesome. is an abundance of, of awareness and I'm gonna do this. I should do this. And so let me ask you this question. Are you using the neuro tools already? Yes. Okay. So every time you feel yourself getting in that a little bit in that red zone. Neuro tool. I, there's been days where I swear I've woke up, woken up, and it's like I'm, I'm gonna do six neuro tools, and then I'm gonna get clarity around what it is, what right? You're gonna do. And so, mm -hmm. so if you if you could say one thing, one because I heard this great quote just this morning um, from something else. I was I just turned on something, and um, they said intentions without action is fantasy and fantasy is fun it's like going to disneyland is fun some you know like you got to do it sometime Woo! let's have some fun but it's really the action and so if you could say one action in one sentence that you're going to do to take all those ahas and put it into action I think what is going to be the breakthrough for me in that block about talking about the business is because I really feel it to be true now is what Kathy Cooper said about I'm working with a very successful team that is showing women how to create additional income streams right from their computer. Because I think that that puts a bridge over my temporary block about I'm not being successful enough to bring people to this, but if I, we have a team and we're all growing and we're all helping each other and we're all teaching and we're all together in this. And that, I think that's gonna be the most valuable thing right now for me. I love it. And we don't think so we're a good team. We know we are a good team. We are, right? I am, we, we are. are, okay? We are. So like, let's whoo, high five this, everybody on that. It's a team effort, right? All right. Okay, who do we have? Jamie wrote down. People actually got high five. I, high five. Shelly, Shelly, please. Shelly. All I'm right, I'll make, this, I'll make this super quick. Okay. The, and it was a tactic, because a lot of this I've heard before, but when, and I don't know which page it's on, but when it's talking about the story I must tell and the results I'll create, where you start 
first with the results I'll create, the number of customers, the retentions, the reorders, the size, the speed, the ease, all of that. Start with that first and then create the story that's going to get me that. I love the I love the idea begin with the end in mind, work your way backwards. I do that with other goal setting, but I just I thought that was that just like lights came on. So when I do that work, which I haven't done yet, um, that's how I'm going to do it. So I was very excited about that. So that was mine. Woo! I no, love that's that. Great. That's great. I want to add one thing that I wrote on that same thing about your new story. You don't just write it, you feel it. Right? You feel it, you feel the emotion. You create your story when you can feel it. So all a sensory experience, full body, mind, and spirit of that story. All right, Kim. Hey there, everybody. It's been so great to be able to hear everybody's stories. It's so awesome to feel so, so part of this community. Thank you, Susan, for, and I didn't catch your name. Jamie. Jamie for hosting. Um, and I would say two things. <clears throat> One is, uh, as Polly Grace had said, you know, I've, I've done a lot of personal development. So you come to the table and you're like, wow, what's going to come up next? Holy cow. Today, what I discovered is that um, my mom's chronic illnesses while I was younger was influencing how I was bringing team members on and leading uh, in that I always tended to make sure that she was not overwhelmed because the consequences would be she would end up in bed for days, right? And so that kind of sense of emergency of making sure that I cater to and organize for and accommodate for was, was showing up in my, in my team. When people would show up and say, I know you're so busy, so I'll take care of that for you. Right. And um, I like to say that that's my two by 1.0 team. Um, and it created a culture that was not in an elevated state of empowering. It was in a state of mothering. Right. And so uh, what I'm doing now is just being consciously aware. Anytime I have that sensation, instead of doing my default pattern, getting that stop sign inside my brain and saying, no, do not go here. We know exactly where this leads us. Exactly. I saw the word codependency. Amen to that. Yep. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, just being really clear, consciously aware and clear of the culture that I am creating around a place of empowerment and inviting to the culture, not necessarily exclusively inviting to me, because if it's exclusively me, I will step into codependency really gosh darn quickly. But if it's stepping into a culture that is committed to empowerment and elevation of all of our individual greatness, that's a culture that I can invite to, right? So that's my first thing. And my second thing would be a tip for anybody who's nervous about going on social media. This is how I overcame my nervousness around going on social media. It's going into stories and using silly filters, like the silliest filters you can use, the crazy, like weird things where you turn your face into a mouse and all of that stuff. It just like pushes it to the extreme max of what silliness is. Cause, and then everything before everything that's not that silly is really just okay. So um, I encourage you to just play with filters inside stories as a way to just introduce people to your new creative style and how you like to have fun and like how you like to show up. Um, and it can go from there. So that's it. Oh, Kim, I think you just opened a can of worms. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh my going to show up as Yoda. <laughs> Y'all check him out. Can't wait, Can't wait to see you, Jamie. Can't wait to see you. Oh, but I love that, Kim. Crazy. I know, but I do want to say one thing. Who watched the, I, I had to look and see which one it was on the app. I believe it was the, um, leadership roles that limit or liberate if you haven't seen that on the i can um neuro or it's on the app top if you have leader. the gold membership or the top 10 if you're in the top 10 leader program it's leadership roles that limit or liberate wow and it, it totally addresses that yeah Kim, that's exactly like what mother, role you're playing um it could be you know the cheerleader the 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 boss, the mother, the you know, all these things. It was really a powerful mm -hmm. training. So yeah. I encourage you to check that out um, if you haven't totally seen that. Totally resonate with that. 
All right. Yes, Shelly, did you have something to add to that? I just wanted to give anybody who's afraid of social media some hope. Um, first of all, the algorithm rhythm, there's billions of pieces of content out there. It's not going to be up that long. Stories is only up 24 hours. So if you're scared to death, do it there because it goes away. So flipping fast and you got to be get bad before you're good and good before you're great. Just get out there and play with it. Have as much fun as you can. And don't worry about it if you suck. I've got some really awful stuff out there, but it's only out there for like a nanosecond in the scheme of things. And not that many people are seeing it anyway. It's going to take you a while to create a following. So just get over yourself, get out there and just try and have fun with it. And if you do it with somebody else, it helps to alleviate some of that nervousness. So grab a kid, grab a spouse, grab your dog, grab whoever you need to, or whatever you need to, to just, just start playing with it. So that's all I had. Awesome. Thank you for that. Thanks, well, Shelley. aloha, everyone. Remember to do your homework assignment. I like this one. This because you're transmuting the energy, right? Right. What you're going to release, what you're going to embrace, burn it, bury it. Have some little ceremony around it. It's powerful stuff. So thank you, everybody, for your time. And we'll see you tomorrow. It'll be bright and early here in yeah. Hawaii. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Jump on here. Same time. Thank you. All right. Aloha. Thank you. Thank Aloha. You. Thank you for hosting. Absolutely. Love you, Polly Grace. <laughs>